water fountain barely worked. It was so unfair. Hey man, you should even feel lucky that there's a bit of water coming out of that water fountain. Did you know that in South Sudan? Was already one of the poorest countries even before the water crisis. As many as 10 refugees are dying daily as water runs out in camps in South Sudan. Nearly one in three children are stunted, which means they are short and underdeveloped due to chronic malnutrition. Nearly one in four children are wasted, meaning they are suffering rapid loss of muscle and fat due to acute malnutrition. 10.84 million people live in South Sudan, and only about 150,000 can have access to that clean water. Between five to 10 people are dying every day walking to water sources. Owing to the lack of clean water, people are drinking contaminated surface water. Children are especially vulnerable to death from waterborne diseases. Currently, refugees in use of metal have access to very limited quantities only, with water coverage especially poor for those sheltered on the camp's peripheries. Families are also struggling with worsening food shortages. That means that half of the families in South Sudan aren't even sure if they'll get to eat every day. For children, the food shortage is particularly dangerous. The demand for water increases, but its availability to the country's inhabitants continually remains low. 80% of the country works in agriculture, which accounts for 97% of its water use, and about 2% of water is available for domestic use. And in the United States, water for domestic use accounts for 13% of total supply. Women and children must devote the most time in their days to gather water from distant sources, and they risk their health and safety by bearing frequent trips to a well remote from their home. The people of South Sudan are also at high risks for contracting waterborne diseases. In 2006 alone, there were 476 deaths caused by diarrhea in just five months, with cholera causing bacteria present in stool samples. Yeah, man, I do. Thank you for showing me that.